And meteorologist Sarah Gannon joins us in the studio with your weather authority forecast. Sarah. Well, Zach, we're tracking that heavy snowfall here for the overnight hours, and especially throughout much of your Sunday morning, which is going to create some travel havoc across the region. So be prepared for that and stick at home if you can. Otherwise, hopefully you've made alternative uh, travel routes or plans uh, ahead of this storm. So quick note as we continue here into our coverage, we are looking at a storm winter storm warning uh, for the entire KTTC viewing area that will take effect here in a uh, little less than two hours at midnight and go until six o'clock uh, tomorrow evening. So again, for the entire KTTC viewing area, and as we kind of continue into what all we are looking at here uh, for the next couple of days, we are looking at a quiet and chilly evening here. And that's going to come to an end in the next couple of hours as we see that snow returning uh, after the midnight hour. And for much of your Sunday, we are looking at uh, some heavy snowfall across the region. So as we look at precision radar, much of the viewing area is staying quiet at the moment, starting to see some light snow kind of edging towards uh, the eastern side there, excuse me, western side of I-90, excuse me, I-35. And uh, so we're going to start to see that light snow enter into the Mason City area and Albert Lee uh, probably within the next hour or so. And then we'll continue to see that snow pushing eastward as the system uh, tracks towards through the viewing area. As we look at satellite and radar, kind of taking a wide look at this system, we're going to start to see these clouds increasing here for this evening as well. And we're starting to see more of the system uh, continue to bring more of that light snow into western Minnesota and uh, some areas of heavy snowfall uh, into the western part of the state as well. Again, all of that going to be coming towards the Albert Lee, Austin, Mason City and Rochester areas as we head into uh, the next few hours. So in terms of snow potential, uh, what we're looking at in terms of totals, good chunk of the viewing area kind of under this teal green color. So that's indicating at least a 70% chance of seeing at least six inches of snowfall across a good chunk of the viewing area. Now, as we head uh, to our south, we're going to start to see a chance for uh, some lesser snow totals with a very sharp gradient uh, in terms of cut for a cutoff in terms of snow totals. But uh, more of these brown areas that we're seeing stretching from Mankato to Rochester back towards uh, the Winona area as well and then continuing uh, towards the east. Now, this is going to be a pocket that we're going to have to watch very closely along I-90 uh, that could bring some higher uh, snow totals to the region. These are going to be very isolated pockets, so it uh, could be very sparse in terms of where we're seeing more of these higher snow totals. And with that, it could be at least an 80% chance of seeing at least six inches of snowfall within those brown colored areas. So something we're going to have to watch very closely uh, with the system is going to be seeing where that uh, heaviest band a snowfall snowfall will line up. So kind of timing the system out as we continue into our future cast. We'll see clouds building here for the next couple of hours by about midnight or so kind of starting to see the snow entering into Albert Lee Mason City and then into the Austin area starting off as a little bit of light snow and then uh, intensifying becoming more heavy as the system pushes towards the east. So we'll see heavy snowfall from about 3 a.m. until about 10 11 o'clock uh, tomorrow morning. So throughout all of the evening to overnight hours seeing that heavy snowfall. And as we head into your Sunday morning, probably right about 10, 11 o'clock, starting to see this heavy snow uh, continue to push towards the east, become more light snow. And then as we head in towards about early afternoon, by about 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, seeing a lot of the snow activity out of the area. And then we're going to be dealing with some cloud cover for the rest of your Sunday afternoon. We'll start to see those clouds decreasing as we head into Sunday night. We'll look to see a little bit more sunshine then as we head into Monday. So we're dealing with quite a bit of snowfall all across the region. So in terms of snow totals, what this will amount to overall kind of going with a widespread accumulation of about four to eight inches for the entire KTTC viewing area. We'll see those totals drop off very quickly as we head to the south of Mason City. Now within that uh, band stretching from Mankato to Rochester off towards Winona kind of riding along uh, I-90 into the north seeing those pockets of about six to nine inches of accumulation possible. And again, that heaviest snowfall rating uh, We'll see high snowfall rates from about one to two inches per hour, stretching from about three to 11 a.m. Uh, for your Sunday. So tonight temperatures back into the teens, the heavy snow moving in tomorrow. We'll see that accumulation of about four to eight inches widespread. Difficult travel all across the region will quiet down as we start off the new week. Well, thank you very much, Sarah. And ahead in sports, Mayo 